We're on premium economy on the Jumbo A380 Airbus. I love that plane. Hi, I'm Christy. And I'm Steve. And at the start of 2022, we quit our jobs, sold our possessions, and left our hometown of Melbourne, Australia to set off on this once in a lifetime adventure. So come join us as we explore and eat our way around the globe. Good morning and welcome to Berlin. We are heading to Singapore today, so we have to go to Berlin, to London, and then end up in Singapore. We tried to catch the local train today. Every other day we're here, we could figure it out, but for whatever reason today, yeah. it just wasn't working. I think there's train delays and all sorts going on this morning. I don't but... know what's happening, but we've been here for almost two weeks. No problem every other day, but this one important time that we need to get to the airport, um, our brains just... It's early, no coffee Like, yet. go crazy, yeah. and we don't know what we're doing. But we've ordered an Uber. Unfortunately, it's about 60 euro to get to the airport, yeah. but it's only half an hour away. It is street super coming, so we'll see you at the airport. So we'll check in. Passport control and security was a bit of a nightmare. It took about two and a half hours in total just to check in and do the whole process. Currently sitting at the gate, just being told our flight's been delayed by half an hour. So yeah, we'll just sit here and wait. On board this British Airways flight to London, please study the safety card in your seat area as this includes important safety information. All bags and coats must go in the lockers leaving the floor around you clear for takeoff. Thank you, bye. Thank bye. you. Good afternoon, Heathrow Airport, London. We've got to jump from this terminal, which is Terminal 5, to Terminal 3. I asked one of the ladies on the plane who I was sitting next to. And apparently there's a free train or two, one free train, one train you can pay for. Yes, or a bus. <laughs> just to choose from, hopefully we can get into at least one. That was one of the best lounges we've ever been to. So good. Staff was great, food was great. We sort of stole a little area of the lounge all to ourselves for about seven hours, which wasn't too bad. Even got to have a shower. It's still very surreal having a shower in an airport. I'll never get used to that, but it's amazing and very much appreciated. It's no better feeling either. We're boarding in about 20 minutes and apparently it's about a 20 minute walk to our gate. I'm not sure if we mentioned it, but we've got a Qantas premium economy flight. Oh yeah, we yeah. Know, I don't think we've said it the whole way through. So yeah, we're on premium economy on the Jumbo A380 what? Airbus. I love that plane, I'm excited. It's the double decker, so we're up on the top. I did bid for an upgrade to business class, but unfortunately it was unsuccessful. We haven't done a long haul in premium economy before, so this will be something new, something, yeah, something a bit exciting. All right, we'll pick it back up when we get to the gate. Yes. Just bought it our flight. This aircraft is so beautiful. I think in 2019 it got a refurb. The layout's great, the seats are really new, everything smells new. It's been a really long day and just excited for it to be over. seats 37A and 37B in the premium economy cabin. It is set out in a 232 configuration. There was plenty of leg room, a footstep that also popped out and great recline, making the seats extremely comfortable for this long journey. We also had a couple of different storage options, one being this large storage bin where you could find the blanket, pillow and headphones, also the amenities kit. The amenities kit contained socks, earplugs, eye mask, dental kit, and a moisturizer. Folding out from the armrest was the tray table. We were also given a menu that showed us different meal options throughout the flight. We just had a really bad turbulence. It was like moderate to severe and I'm shaking.
So the flight attendant paid me two glasses of wine because I was a little bit shaky. Completely calm, completely fine now. After the turbulence calmed down, dinner was served. I chose the braised beef, mashed potato and veg. And Christy went for the Vietnamese chicken salad. As you can see, it was quite delicious. I'm gonna try and do a bathroom tour, come to the middle bit in between premium economy and business class food. So see what they're like. Pretty much a standard bathroom, really. You get soap, water, cups. I don't know why they put cups in here because you can never drink the water, so I don't know. That's about it. There was a decent range of movies and TV shows to choose from. Top Gun was on our list to watch first. To the rear of the cabin is a little snack bar where you can help yourself to cookies, pretzels, chocolate and fruit. This was also on the lower deck of the aircraft last time we flew Qantas in economy. After a pretty decent night's sleep, it was breakfast time. We both went for the hot breakfast option and again, this was quite tasty. Overall, we had a great experience flying the premium economy class on the Qantas A380. The total cost for this journey from Berlin to Singapore via London was $524 and 480,000 Qantas frequent flyer points and that was for the both of us. So here in Singapore, we caught the airport train into the city to our hotel, went out for some dinner because we hadn't eaten, finished the night with some 7-Eleven ice creams, and we just actually realised that we've been filming this vlog for two days now, mm -hmm. so... Yep. Time to put the camera down. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. See ya.